Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we are putting things together into layers and particularly putting adjustments in, then the sequence in which things appear uh, is important. First of all, I'm going to show you something called masking, which is where if I take a rectangle from here, draw it on top of the picture, it appears on a layer here above, and here we got a nice ordinary rectangle, which we can just move around. However, if I take this and drag it down here, so it's I get the horizontal blue layer, level there underneath the layer, I still get the same effect. The trick now is this is called the clipping layer, but if I bring this up to here and there's get it into position where there's a vertical blue bar next to the layer icon there, now it acts like a mask clipping off this part of the image. So this is masking and clipping levels. Not a clever effect. However, there's something important that happens here as well. Because often when we're doing adjustments, whether you've got the vertical blue bar, that clipping, so the masking, or the horizontal clipping, then you get a very different effect. Let's have a look at it. So I go to here and the assistant. It says here, adding adjustment layer to a selection, add adjustment as child layer. Let's for the moment change this to add as new layer, so it will add above. So I'm going to add, first of all, a black and white layer above. Okay, let me just turn this off. Bring this up. Here you go. I'm not going to change any of these. That's OK. So I've made it black and white. But I can change this a little bit, because if I go to Color Balance now, then I can change the color here so I can drag these up and down and get a coloring effect. Um, but this is now with the layer color balance above here. So notice here with the color balance above and the black and white there and then the background here we get this effect. Now if we drag this, these down here, if I drag this down to the horizontal blue line there and this to the horizontal blue line there I've got the same effect. So if these are dragged down here to the clipping layer then you get the same effect as them being in this order above. In other words they're processed from the bottom up. First of all black and white then colour balance. Because otherwise if you have the black and white at the, at the top here, I drag that up there You've got the colour balance applied first, but the black and white is last, so you end up with a black and white picture. The third position is that horizontal, that sort of that vertical little small blue line here, which you get for that masking position. And this is the position you'll get as a default when you set the information layer here to adding your adjustment layer as a child layer here. So let's do that. If I put the black and white layer up to there, and then the colour layer up to here, now I've, it's, a, it's doing the it from the top downwards, which is the reverse of the others. So colour balance is being applied first, then black and white. If I drag this up to here, now I've got the colouring effect because black and white is applied first, and then colouring, so we end up with a coloured thing. So it's a thing to remember when you're using uh, this with the vertical blue bar there, which is the default for the child layer, then you're going to get the sequencing of these from the top down. If you do it in the horizontal blue bar here, or the horizontal blue bar, in other words, just the same level above, you're going to get it the other way around. It'll be processed from the top down. There we go, a little trick that you can fall foul of, but now you know which way things are processed. Hope this is helpful. Thanks very much and goodbye and thanks for watching.